Hi Colin, it's Sunday, and I have nothing to talk about. Well, nothing is a lie and an exaggeration. Because I guess the point of these vlogs is to communicate the things that are going on in our lives, and I haven't really done a lot of that actual communicating lately. I mean, in my last vlog, all I did was take you with me on my really busy day. So today, I thought I'd share with you some other things that have been going on in my life in recent times. Books. Over the past few days, I've been going to bookstores and libraries and all places that sell print media, and I've been looking at things because I need them and want them, and I enjoy reading the same way you do, although I haven't talked about it quite as much yet. First, I bought a copy of this book because I've read it a couple times and I wanted to own it, and I saw the movie and it made me want to read it again, I decided I'm not going to rent it anymore because, you know, all the libraries have checked out for months in advance, and I just need to own a copy because it's that good and I've read it several times, and though it's not my favorite John Green book, it is a very good book general, and I recommend that if you haven't read it or seen the movie, you should read it and then go see the movie. In that order. Second, Frankenstein. I needed to get a copy for school so I could read it for AP Lit, and hopefully it's enjoyable. I know you seem to enjoy it, so we'll see how that goes, Colin. Also this. I also had to read this for school. It's How to Read Literature Like a Professor by Thomas C. Foster, and so far, it's really enjoyable. Thomas C. Foster, you write very good prose. Very interesting prose. I'm too tired for this right now. <laughs> Third book, Catcher in the Rye. Fourth book, I can't count. Fourth book, Catcher in the Rye. If you haven't read it, why haven't you read it yet? I've read it numerous times, I just finally decided to actually get myself a copy. And this one was $3, and it's, a good, and it's in good condition, so I figured why not. Fifth one, and this is the weirdest one for me. The Greatest Generation. There, now you can see. The Greatest Generation. It was only $2, and it's hardcover, and how can I not pick it up? I love The Wonder Years, and their latest album was titled after this same idea. Of course, they're basically making a statement against it, but I should understand what this idea is. Were the men and women of the World War II era the greatest generation? Or were they just a generation that did what they were called upon to do, like so many before them and after them? And is my generation the laziest? Are we the worst? The most apathetic? Colin, at this point, I'm inclined to say no, but I mean, I haven't actually read the book yet, so I guess we'll see if I change my tune. Other than that, my life has basically been spending time with my girlfriend, Ashley, and my family, and working. Sometimes. And so, with all of that said, and both of us caught up, I'd like to leave you with a quote from Dan Campbell of The Wonder Years. They say that the greatest generation has come and gone, but they're wrong. We just haven't shown them what we're capable of yet. Colin, I'll see you tomorrow.